going to do a little segment that I like to call Bill's Day Off. What did I do yesterday on my day off? Well, I did my various usual things, running errands, pet supplies, etc. Um, the, there's really, honestly, only a couple things of note. All right? The first thing of note was I actually, for the first time ever, ate a new kind of food. Okay? Now, what was it? Well, funny enough, I have never had, and I'm an American, okay? I have never had Cold Stone Creamery ice cream. And yesterday, my wife and I were out doing other things, and it just so happens that we were a little hungry, and we were in a parking lot that randomly had a Cold Stone Creamery in it. And I looked at it, and I was like, you want to do it? We, I've never had it ever. And she's like, I've had it ages ago, but haven't had it in a million years. Um, I, funny enough, I've been in a Cold Stone Creamery before, but I didn't get anything. It was years ago um, where I used to live in New Haven, Connecticut. And I lived in downtown New Haven, and I had two roommates, and they used to like to go like walking around downtown New Haven bar hopping. I remember one night after we went to the bars on the way home, there was a Cold Stone that was still open. And they said, why don't we stop at Cold Stone and get ice cream? And I was like, eh, I don't know. So I, I went in with them. I didn't get anything, but they got a bunch of ice cream. Um, but it was like 20 years ago. So I don't even remember, honestly, you know, what it was like or anything. I mean, 20 years is a long time. So we go in there. All right. And I'm just, I'm just going to say this up front. All right. This is something that I will probably rarely ever do again in my life. And I'm going to explain why in a minute, all right? So we go in there, and immediately we look around, and we're like, whoa, this is wild. They have all these different kinds of ice cream that you wouldn't think of, you know? Uh, insane, like, over-the-top peanut butter, peanut butter cup, uh, like, berries and cream with real berry pieces smashed in, like, strawberry shortcake, strawberries and cake pieces really in the ice cream and stuff like that. You know, incredibly over-the-top, decadent, decadent stuff. And we're like, oh, man. Now, here's the thing. I don't really have a sweet tooth anymore. I don't. Like, I lost my sweet tooth as I got older. I much would prefer, prefer more savory foods. When it comes to being sweet, like, the only thing I can think of that I really like is chocolate. You know, I don't crave sugary, fruit, caramel, peanut butter that much anymore. You know, I'll eat it in a rarity, but not, not often, okay? So, we go and I'm just looking at it all. I'm like, man, I want, I'm going to get something. We're here. And, you know, it's a rarity that I'd be here. But I have no idea what to get. I don't want to get something too sweet. And then I take two bites of it and I don't like it anymore. My wife's looking too. So, what we decided to do, we decided to get two flavors and kind of like share. So, she got one that was some kind of cookie dough, like crazy cookie dough. And then I got something that I thought perhaps I could stomach. Mint chocolate chip. But, of course, there they, they can't just call it mint chocolate chip. Guess what they call it? Mint, mint, chocolate, chocolate chip. What the fuck? Can't you just call it mint chocolate chip? I mean, come on. Sounds like a kid who's just repeating themselves. So, anyway. um, We each got one, and we basically kind of tasted each other's or whatever. Um, First of all, it is so thick. And but still kind of like it's thick but not hard and cold. Like a lot of ice cream, when you scoop it, it's too hard and cold. This ice cream is thick, but it's like soft at the same time. So it's a different consistency than what I'm used to. It's not soft serve at all. Soft serve is more liquidy. This is still dense ice cream, but it definitely is more like malleable ice cream. Okay. I don't know what they do. I don't know if the cream content is different or something like that. I'm not sure. But it definitely is a little different. Okay. Um, so then I started eating it and I realized it didn't just have mint and chocolate. It was basically the mint ice cream with dark chocolate, chocolate chips that also were mint chocolate. But then there was also fudge brownie pieces mixed into it. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know that was in there. Like I had no, I had no clue. So I started eating it. I was like, this is pretty good. Now here's the thing. What did I like the most? The mint and the dark chocolate flavor. The sugar, eh, even if it was less sugary, I think I just like mint overall in my life. It's a flavor that I really enjoy. So I basically ate it and I was like, this is pretty good. All right. My wife's, which was the cookie dough, um, I had one, one spoon of. And I, at first I thought it tasted good. And then the cookie dough hit me and I was like, that is way too sweet. 
like again for me like i don't like overload of sugar and when the cookie dough hit my palate i was like oh that is i would not eat that you know so anyway um we ate it and enjoyed it okay so it was actually i would say it was a good experiment it's something that i certainly would not do all the time but it's you know rarity it's the first time i've ever had it so why would i probably never do it again all right you want to know the truth ladies and gentlemen Cold Stone Creamery ice cream was nearly $10 a serving. Ten fucking dollars USD a serving. What the hell? And I'll be honest, if I had known that it was that much, I would not have gone into Cold Stone Creamery. I would have skipped it. But we didn't know. And we're like, well, we're here. Let's go in. And we went in. And we're like, all right, let's get it. We're we'll figuring out what we're going to order. And then we looked at the prices. We're like, what the fool? Fool? But we were already there. Like, well, you might as well do it, right? But, dude, I I was like, and the, the funny part is when we went in, there was a lot of people in there. A lot. So they're all spending $10 a pop. And I'm thinking to myself, I thought that we're like in a bad economy with inflation. Everyone claims they have no money. How is Cold Stone Creamery full to the brim with people waiting in line to spend $10 a pop on a little thing of ice cream that you're going to eat in five minutes and be done with, right? So this is pretty wild uh, that it's that expensive. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to go to Dairy Queen all the time with my dad. It was actually down the street. We could walk like two, three blocks away and we get to a Dairy Queen. And I remember he would either get me like a little blizzard or a sundae and he would get like an ice cream cone with a dip. You know, of course, we're talking 30, 40 years ago. And, you know, the price was like, you know, a two, three, even then, I would say probably I remember the blizzards were kind of expensive for the time. If the blizzard were like three ninety nine, you'd be like, oh God, right? That's very expensive, right? And out here it's like ten dollars for Cold Stone, and it's not big either. It's a little cup. It's not a giant thing they're filling. It's a little cup of this decadent ice cream, and I don't know. Like again, it's just it's weird to me that people claim that everything is so bad right now and there's no money to go around and the economy's so bad, right? Inflation's so bad, but you go into Cold Stone and they're, they're fucking packed to the gills. It's like, actually, what should have happened is we went in there and there was no one in there and they were desperate for business is what should have happened, but it was the opposite. So I don't really get it. Maybe people have money, they just spend it on the wrong stuff. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going back there. Like, I probably another 10 years I'll walk in there on a whim. We'll just, we, we'll be there. But there's no way I'm spending $10 on ice cream. That's insane. So anyway, um, that's like the notable thing from yesterday.